Today we are going to be factoring trinomials, and this time the form's a little different. This time we have a coefficient in front of the x squared term. We call that coefficient a typically. And so we have an a term here, kind of like the 2 in front of the first one here, the 5, or this 2 here. And then we'll have either the b term being a positive or a negative value. So for instance, on the first three problems, you'll see they're all positive. The b term, the second term here is always positive. And then on the second set of three problems, I always have the b term being negative. So on your homework tonight, you'll see one of the two. But your last term is going to end up being positive tonight. And what that tells us, whenever that last term is positive, we've talked about this before, it tells us that the outer terms, so our outer and our inner are going to end up adding together. And when we add them together, we're going to end up getting our b term. So it, whether it be a positive b term or a negative b term, that's what we'll end up coming up with. And so that's the important thing to remember is that we are going to end up adding the outer and inner terms today. So let's take a look at our first one. When we look at this, the only number that ends up making 2x squared that we're going to put inside our binomials, since what we want are integers inside those, we're going to end up using a 2x and an x. Those are the only values that we're going to use for 2x squared. So from there, we look at that last digit sign right here, this positive 10. And again, that tells us our outer and our inner are adding together. And when we do that, we end up with a positive 9, x. And so what we know is that if it's going to end up being a positive and we're adding, it means both numbers, the outer and the inner terms, are both positive. So we can put that in there. So here's where it gets tough. Now we've got to think of the numbers that multiply to make 10. Well, before, we could just add the two numbers that multiply to make 10 to see if it equals the b term. But we can't do that now because of this extra coefficient in front of the x term. So what we're going to end up doing is taking a look at a few different ways we can write 10. And so we can either use 2 times 5 or 5 times 2. We have to use both methods to see which one ends up working. One might work, one might not. We also have 1 times 10 and 10 times 1. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with, start with the first one here, 2 and 5. So if I put the 2 here and the 5 here, I'm going to end up multiplying these two terms right here, and that makes 10x. And then over here, the 2 and the x make 2x. And I see, as I was multiplying those outside terms, I saw that that made a number bigger than 9. See, I only want the numbers to add to make 9. So if they multiply to make something bigger than 9, you know you're not doing something right. And you see, that makes 12x. So that doesn't work. So 2 and 5 are not the right numbers. So what we can do, though, is we can erase what we did there and try something different. Well, we've also got to try 5 and 2 but in a different way. So see how I had 2 first and then the 5? Now I'm putting 5 first, then the 2. So let's put the 5 here and the 2 here. And let's see what we get. So the inside terms make 5x. The outside terms make a 4x. And those two numbers do add to make 9x. So I ended up getting it. And we know we're right because we checked our outer and inner terms to see if they make that 9x. We know 2x and x make the 2x squared, and we know the 5 and the 2 multiply to make the 10. So we already know the answer is correct. So we can go ahead and put that in our box. So 2x plus 5 and is being multiplied by an x plus 2, and that would end up equaling the trinomial above. Well, let's try another one here. We've got a 5x squared plus a 31x plus 6. So again, that plus 6 tells us right away Outside and inside are adding together, and they're going to end up equaling a 31x. So we're going to start by drawing the two sets of parentheses, and we've got our 5x and our x, the only numbers that make the 5x squared. And then from there, we also know the signs. We know they're both positive because they made a positive 31x. So here's the tough part. We now need to think of numbers that multiply to make 6. Now, remember... You want those numbers to multiply to make something that's smaller than 31, but pretty close to it. So let's try some different combinations here. See, we've got, oh, let's try a 6 and a 1 multiply to make 6. We've got 1 and 6. We also need to try the 2 and the 3 and the 3 and the 2. So there's only four different options here, and we just try them all until we find the one that works. Only one will end up working. So let's start with this first one, 6 and 1. So I put 6 here and 1 here, and I check those outside terms and inside. And here I get 6x, and here I get 5x. 
You see, those only add to make 11x. I need to get the number a lot bigger. So I know 6 and 1 are not the right numbers, but I need to also try those two numbers, but just in a different form. I need to try them use uh, one in the other's spot. And so let's go ahead and try that. Let's use those same numbers. But this time we're going to put the 1 here and the 6 here. So we go ahead and multiply 1 and x multiply to make 1x. 5 and 6 multiply to make 30. And that's good because that's smaller than 31. And when I add those together, I get a 31x. So it worked. We got our answer. We know those add up to make 31, the outside and inside terms. We know 1 and 6 multiply to make the 6. And we know the 5x and the x multiply to make that 5x squared. So we've got our answer. So we can write that in our answer box. 5x plus 1 as being multiplied by the x plus 6. Well, taking a look at the next one here, we've got a 2x squared plus 11x plus 12. Again, you look at that last digit sign, tells us the outer and inner terms are adding together to make 11x. So let's go ahead and set up our problem here. We know we've got 2x and x multiply to make the 2x squared. We also know the signs are both positive because they multiply to make a positive, or add to make a positive 11. So let's go ahead and check the numbers that multiply to make 12. We've got a bunch of different options here. So we've got, oh, let's try maybe a 3 and a 4. If that doesn't work, maybe a 4 and a 3. And if those don't work, we've got 2 and 6 and 6 and 2. We also have 1 and 12 and 12 and 1. So the problems get a little bit tougher when you've got factors, lots of factors to make up a, a possible number here, like the, the C term. And so let's start with our 3 and 4. Let's put the 3 here and the 4 here and see what ends up happening. We're checking the outside terms and our inside terms. So the inside make 3x, outside make 8x. And do those add to make 11? Hopefully they do. Oh, we got it on the first try, 11x. And so once you get it in the first try, you're fairly fortunate. Maybe you're getting a little bit better at these. And so if it happens a few times in a row, you know you're getting real good. Anyhow, we can write that answer in our answer box. So notice the first three problems here had the middle term, the B term, is positive. Well, the next three do not. They have the B term as negative. However, our C term still is positive. So our outer and inner are adding together. And when they add together, they this time make a negative 8x, which tells us that both terms need to be negative. So let's start with what we know. We know we have a 3x and an x. And we know both signs are negative. And so that's the first thing. After that, we just need to try numbers that multiply to make 4. And so when I do this, I might try like a 2 and a 2. And I've got 4 and 1 and 1 and 4. Those are the only options I've got. And so I just try it. So let's put the 2 and the 2 here. And we check those outside terms and inside. So this makes a negative 2x. Outside make a negative 6x. Oh, we got it again, negative 8x. We got the answer in the first try. So notice that the negative 2 and negative 2 multiply to make a positive 4. We already checked the inside terms and outside terms. We know what they add to make. They add to make that negative 8x. And the first terms multiply to make that 3x squared. So we got our answer. So we can write that down. 3x minus 2 and a x minus 2. Well, let's check the next one here. We've got another case where we've got our middle term being negative and our last term being positive. It tells us the outer and inner terms are both negative because they need to add together to make a negative 19. So we try our two sets of parentheses, putting in what we know. We know 3x and x multiply to make 3x squared. We know both signs are negative. And so what we need to do now are just think of numbers that multiply to make 20. Now, as you do it, remember, you want numbers, when you check the outside terms in the inside, you want them to be smaller than 19. So this one, the one that I know would not end up working would be 1 and 20. I'm going to put that down last because 3 times 20 is going to make something bigger than 19. Well, are there any others? Well, I've got another one that won't work. I know 1 times 10 will, or I'm sorry, 2 times 10 is not going to work because 3 times 10 makes 30. So as I do those, I'm trying to think, okay, am I getting close to 19, but I don't want to multiply 3 by something too big. So what I might try first is maybe like a 5 and a 4. And then if that doesn't work, maybe uh, 4 and 5. 
And then I've also got the other two combinations with this. I've got the 10 and the 2 this way, and I also have, I have the 20 and the 1. But I already know that these two aren't going to work because I checked them out kind of in my head as I was looking at those problems. So let's check this first one here, 5 and 4, see if it works. See, this makes a 12x, and this makes a 5x. And this is close, but not quite there. 17x. See, it's just a little bit off. So we know that's not right. So let's check the next one. Maybe that one will be right. So again, we'll erase what we had there. So we know it's not right, but we won't try it again because we've checked it off. We've already shown that it doesn't work. That's why I crossed it off. So let's try the 4 here and the 5 here this time. You see how I had the 5 first. That's why I put the 5 here and the 4. But now I'm 4 first, then 5 seconds. So 4, 5. So I've got negative 4x, and over here I've got a negative 15x. Oh, and we got it. Ne negative 19x, so it works. And we know the negative 4 and the negative 5 make the positive 20, and we know the 3x and the x multiply to make the 3x squared. So let's go ahead and write that in our answer box. we got 3x minus 4 multiplied by a x minus 5. Well, looking at the last one here, we've got a positive 24 again, so we know right away our outer and inner adding together to make this middle term, which is negative 17x. So we know both signs are negative. So let's draw our two sets parentheses. Start with the 3x squared. The only number is going to be 3x and x. And it doesn't matter which order you put it in. Either one will work. And now we just think of numbers that multiply to make 24. And we got lots of options here. And so when we do it, remember, you don't want to multiply 3 by something too big that makes something bigger than 17. So, for instance, if you did eight or 3 and 8, you see this wouldn't work because 3 times 8 is going to make 24 too big. So I know that's not going to work. But I could end up trying the 8 and the 3. That might end up working. I also have a 4 and a 6, but... 4 and 6 I see won't work because 6 times 3 makes 18. So I'm going to put that down at the bottom. I know that's not going to work, but 6 and 4 might end up working. And what else do we have? We've got a 2 and a 12, but I know that's not going to work. 3 times 12 would make something too big. So 12 times 2 might work. And then I have 1 and 24 and 24 and 1. So i got all these different options. And so let's go ahead and check some of them off, see which one ends up working. Let's try the first one there, 8 and 3. So we're checking those outside terms make 9x. The inside terms make 8x. And those do add together to make a 17x. So we got it. And by, by thinking about the possibility of ones that don't work right away, looking at that 3, knowing that it needed to multiply to a number and then add to make the middle term, helped us figure it out a little bit faster on the first try at least. We know both signs are negative because they multiply to make a positive C term but add to make a negative b term and so there it is 3x minus 8 and an x minus 3 and we've got our answer well those are the problems you'll see on tonight's homework again key on these are is to look at that last digit sign noticing that if when it's a positive which they all will be today they add to make a positive the outside and inside terms uh, and if the last term is positive again but they but the middle term is negative. Those outside and inside terms are going to add to make a negative. Good luck on tonight's homework.